Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Think in terms of having power. Power. Let me tell us a story real quick. I remember I was on this job way back in the day, way back in the day. It was a, it was a temp job and everything. And I remember there was this dude, you know, me and would shoot the breeze, everything. And the interesting thing was he was also friendly with this another, another woman on the job who, uh, you know, I mean, at first she would see me, she didn't say anything to me, she was real quiet. But then he must have mentioned me to her and uh, told her some of the stuff I was talking about. All of a sudden she was on me hard. But I never forget what she said. She said, you're about power. And that's what attracts her. I'm going to tell you what. And that's always been about what I've been about, having power. If you really look at what I talk about or what I do or like look at my overall picture, my thing was about having power over my own life. You know, in every aspect. Indeed, like on this channel with my relationship books, my thing is about giving a man power in his relationships. You know, it ain't just about getting some ass or anything, but having the option, the power to get the woman he wants, whether he wants multiple women or whether he wants that one quality woman. But whatever the case, have his choice. Many men don't have uh, any real options with women. They gotta take what they can get. When I talk about select and non-select, let me be clear, I've never said non-select don't get any place. Some don't. But many non-select men actually get played. They actually get married. Many non-select men do. But their wives or their girlfriends are running a situation. They don't have power. They serving on at the women's whim. That's not power right there. Power is a man not only, you know, having his choice of women, but dealing with women on his own terms and having a real choice as to the type of woman he wants to get. Indeed, the money aspect is more for the man because then he's not coming under that woman's uh, control because of her money. Because there's some guys out there non-select, you know, they might, the woman wearing the pants and everything, you know. This is giving the man the option. He can do what he wants, but that's power. You want power in relationships. But then if y'all look at my other channels, my Money Matters channel, what do I talk about? Money management, business, a business mindset. You know, having the option. Now, people can't tell because, you know, when they see me, they see some of my modest background and stuff and everything. They might not realize, uh, well, no, Rom lives below his means. That's because I have the power to do so. But I could, you know, step it up or whatever, you know. But it's power when I have a bunch of money in my bank account. When I talk on my Deep Thought channel, the main thing with Deep Thought is thinking. Now, y'all knows I, you know, I can be funny about uh, dissent on this channel, I ain't gonna lie. But on my Deep Thought channel, I say, hey, you can disagree with me and all that. Just be intelligent about it and don't attack anybody personally. I wanna see that because the whole point is thinking. Thinking is power. And, you know, every single man needs to think about it, even if it's in his own world. I did. I did a Saturday podcast talking about you are the alpha of your world. You got to have the power to do that. That's power. Power is being able to affect the environment in a way that you want. Now, none of us are going to have total power, but it's still power to have leverage. You know, that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, you at least have leverage at least have leverage. And that's on a bigger thing in your personal life. You got the power, you know, you want to work to have the power to live where you want to live. Regardless, if you want to live, hey, if you want to live in a trailer, you want the power to do that. If you want to live in a big house, you want the power to do that too. If you want to drive just an economy car, you want to have the power to do that. People say it's money. No, you got to have the power to get the money to do that. If you want to drive an economy car, power. If you want to drive that latest sports car, expensive, that Maserati or, you know, some high-end car, you want the power to do that. You want to have the power to enact the choices you want to make. 
And one of the reasons I'm saying this, one of the reasons I'm even going on this, because this is usually one of my uh, Saturday morning uh, podcasts. But, you know, one of the things I'm seeing, and I started seeing it when I was talking about that Netflix series. Uh, well, no, I more paid attention to it a bit more when I saw that Netflix series, uh, Sex Life. It is not so much about the show, but how men were responding. Because it's that whole thing, oh, it's over, or I gotta be this, or why should I get married, or anything like that. And what I'm seeing is too many men going through the world powerless. Let me say that again, powerless. And you don't have to. Thing is, any man can build his power. At the very least, to have control over his world. Any man can do that. Even with relationships. You know, even with women, you can still be, what are you, when I talk about body game, when I talk about body game, when I talk about other aspects, that's giving you power to deal with women on your terms and have a choice of women. Options. Options. It ain't about forcing a woman to like you. It's bringing the women to you. If you look at what I'm talking about, the women are going to be drawn to you. And this go beyond whether you're approaching, sitting back, or whatever. Because even when you approach, she's going to take one look at you. You want I'm telling you how to get to the point where she's more likely going to choose you. Now, that specific one might not choose you or show any interest. But then you got the power to have options. It's like, oh, let me get someone else. In the relationship thing. And then dealing with a woman. You don't want to be one of those men who are serving at the woman's whim. That's all I'm telling you power. You got the power of choice. You know, on my money channel, I'm trying to change your mindset. I'm working to change your mindset, how you use your money. Money is a tool. Money is a tool. You know, like I said, I personally live modestly now, but that's my choice. That's my choice. But then if I want to jump on an airplane first class, get a ticket that day to travel wherever in the world, I can do that too. But it's my choice. You know, and thinking all things start from your ideas. Now, one problem, let me let me jump on that real quick. Too many men, I'm seeing too many men, they, they got the idea, oh, it's over. It's because, you know what, it's over because of my race. It's over because I'm not a certain height. It's over because I don't look a certain way. That's not power, that's weakness. Yes, I'm going to say it. That's weakness. Go ahead and thumb it down. I don't care. Because you can still make, look, first of all, there's an abundance of women. If we want to talk about all of that, there's an abundance of opportunities to make money. Like even during the COVID lockdowns, there were men who were making millions, billions. My income, my personal income, my personal income actually increased during the COVID thing. And it keeps increasing. It hasn't dipped in months, years, really. Every month is better than the year before the month the year before. And I mean, there's a serious winning streak. All right. So I was like, oh, OK, but because I'm thinking, I'm saying, OK, what can I do? Boom. That's power. Power is having control over your life. And you making a decision and a living according to your own will. But like I said, too many men don't think they have power or anything. It's like, no, you don't do that. Don't do that. If you make the, just a choice, you say, you know what? I want power. I want power in my life. You want to see stuff change right away because all of a sudden your mind is going to open to greater possibilities. You're going to start seeing stuff that you didn't see before. I'll use myself as an example because anything I talk about, if I haven't walked that walk already, I'm not going to talk about it. When I first really got on YouTube, really got on YouTube, it was like I was technically a member since 2008, but I ain't do a video until 2000, 2015. And even then when I did the video, it wasn't even for YouTube. It was actually just I could put it on my website, you know. Because at the time, at the time, hey, money was tight at the time. I ain't going to lie. And it was like, oh, but I could still put a link on there. That's all. But then when I started noticing people commenting, and all of a sudden I'm getting subs, even though I never advertised the channel. I was like, hmm. 
But then my mind opened up to more. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Look, look for it. Because once you say to yourself, I want power in my life, all of a sudden you're going to see things you hadn't seen before. Like you might pass by, you know what, like in your neighborhood. Let me use it interesting. In your neighborhood, there might be like some type of academy or some type of building, business or something where they have seminars on real estate and stuff like that all the time. In fact, you might see the signs all the time, but you ain't thinking about it. You walking around thinking, oh, I don't have power. I can't change everything. But all of a sudden you say, you know what? No, I want power. I want to change my life. All of a sudden you want to see that sign for real estate. And it's been there all along, but your mindset doesn't change. You know, they'll tell you how to flip houses without even having a lot of money, you know? Or you might see a job opening that you never saw before. You know, you will start, your mind is going to start looking around and be like, oh, okay, this is what you want? Okay. All of a sudden stuff come to you because usually people walk through the world with a certain mindset. They don't see things. As soon as your mind, or you open your mind up or you want something, you see everything, you know? I remember there's been times where I'm looking for a place to live or something. And I'm like, wait, man, all these signs are up. Boom. You see stuff. Possibilities come to you. There's been times I've looked for jobs and found it. Like I remember in 2005, you know, I needed, you know, it was tight. Everything was tight. It had the business, but it wasn't like carrying me like it should have. It was a down period. I said, okay, I need a part-time job or something. Because my mind was open to it, I just hit the pavement. I had two jobs at the, by the end of the day, two jobs. And anybody can do that. Once you had that mindset, you want power, you open up. And you gotta think that way. You know, and I've told some people, they comment, I say, look, you can't think that way. And this ain't the place, look, I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't the place for you if you wanna think in terms of having a losing mindset. This ain't the channel for you. I don't care, you unsub me. If you subbing me, that's your mindset, unsub me. Because I'm, I'm to the point, I'm ready to start deleting comments if it has a loser mindset to it. And I don't, I don't care. There's a lot of stuff going on out here in the world. We need men to, men to stand up. We need men to stand up and have the right mindset. Because trust me, I don't care what's happening out here. I don't care about some gynocracy, feminism, all this shit. I don't care about women talking about some toxic masculinity. I don't care about any of that. Once men stand up and say, we're going to change something, it's going to change. Ain't nothing, only thing that might could stop it is another man. And even then, if you get a critical mass of men standing up saying, this is how we're going to act, we're going to behave, not even other men can stop that. So I want y'all to think in terms of having power, having control, at least start from having control over yourself and then expanding that. All right. So that's all I got for today. I want y'all to seriously think about it. And seriously, if you got that loser mindset or something, hey, unsub me. I don't care. I, if you notice, I never say sub me. Only time I've said sub me was, not even this channel. When I was building my other channels, I say sub that. But then once I rest, reach the threshold to make money, once I reach the threshold to make money, I notice I never say check it out or sub it. And even uh, on my Patreon, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, you want deeper knowledge, that's where I am. But you notice, I don't even push that that much, and I never. Uh, no, I say one time, I say I reached out for donations, and that was just, I just needed a little bit just to make my sales go for a particular month, and that was years ago. So I don't even ask for that because I just want the winners. I want the winners. I'm tired of hearing about men, grown men, talking about all the bad stuff. I'm like, dude, there's so much information, not even just from me, but from other content creators giving some like valuable information on whatever. Not even in this sector, you can find information on whatever. Hell, I learned how to do a fade properly, a fade haircut on my sons properly just by uh, watching some videos. So the knowledge is there. So every single man need to think in terms of power. If you're not on that tip, this ain't the place for you, all right? I don't care about these sub numbers or anything. I want the wolves. All right. So that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.